Hey guys, Krista Jones here from Davy and Krista, where we help businesses build brands that book. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to take static images or static content and turn it into a video that can be used as an Instagram reel or shared on TikTok or Pinterest. But before I dive in, make sure that you hit like on this video and subscribe to our channel for updates about future videos. If you've logged into Instagram recently, you've probably noticed that they made a big update to their feed to prioritize video content. I just did a quick scroll through my my phone and out of 10 posts, seven were reels or videos. There were a couple static images and I think I saw two ads. So they're really pushing video content. So what does that mean for you? Well, if you want your content to be seen on social media, you're probably going to need to put out more video content. But if you don't have access to a lot of video content, so if you don't have a YouTube channel or you're not a videographer or video just is not your thing, don't worry because I'm going to teach you how to take a static piece of content and turn it into a video. And not only can this video be used as a real Instagram or a story on Instagram, it could also be shared as a Facebook story story or as a Pinterest idea pin or a Pinterest video pin or even as a TikTok. It's really easy to create one video and share it in a variety of places. So option one is going to be to use a stock video. I'm going to grab a free stock video from Pexels and show you how I create a reel or any kind of video that can be shared in Photoshop. So I opened up this video file and this is just a free stock video that I found and I'm going to do a couple things to it. So first I'm going to come up to window and I'm going to turn on my timeline and next I'm going to add a white shape so that I can add some text over this image. So, and if you don't see it showing up, it's probably because it's in the same group. So I'm gonna move this file, this layer out of the group, and then I'm gonna drag it back here so that they're layered on top of each other. And now I should see it showing up. And I can even lower the opacity a bit if I wanna still be able to see the video behind it. It looks like the shape came in with a one pixel stroke around it. So I'm also gonna get rid of that. And then I'm just gonna add some text to it. So. If I was going to create a post about how to use the new show it mind tool, I can take this and make my text dark and let's make it a bigger font that is easier to read. And if I wanted to make this fancier with subtitles or really play with the text I could. For now, I'll probably just do it really simple like this to keep this video short. But you could add your logo to this. You could add like your website URL. Probably wouldn't do too much if it's going to go on Instagram because I think that more simple videos tend to perform better. But just using something as simple as this is going to allow you to upload this as a video instead of a static image and hopefully drive more people to your site. So next we wanna make sure that everything ends at the same spot, otherwise we'll get to the end and the text will be gone, but the video will still be playing. So I'm just gonna drag the top two layers to make them all the same length. And then the last thing that we need to do is export it. So I'll go up to export and render video. And then you wanna make sure that you're exporting it at 1080 by 1920. So that's a good mobile kind of canvas size. And then you hit render and it'll start rendering your video and it's going to create the video for you. The second way to turn static content into a video is a little bit more work, but it gives a little bit more detail. And this is the program sketch, but you could also do this in Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign or Canva. And I just took a blog post that we had and I created a series of kind of images that I'll flash through, kind of like a slideshow. You'll see each one adds a phone and you don't have to be that fancy. You could keep it more simple if you want. And then in each one of these different images, it's like a different slide. If you're gonna use something like Sketch, which is one of my favorite design programs, the first thing I need to do is export each one of these images. So I'll just select them all and I'm gonna export them all as JPEGs. So you can see them all here and you can play with them here. This is actually one of my favorite things about Sketch. So I'll hit export selected. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to find those files and open them up collectively in Photoshop. You can see here's one of my files. And next I need to come up to file scripts and load files into stack. And I'm going to click add open files and then I'm going to sort them by name. So hopefully get them in the right order and hit okay. And this is going to load all of my images into one single Photoshop file so that I can turn it into a video. So I'll zoom out so we can see. So if you don't see your timeline, come up to window and then turn on the timeline. I'm going to create a video timeline. From here, I just need to adjust the lengths of the clips to 
make them play. So I'm just going to eyeball this and see how long that goes. And then we'll bring them all onto the same layer. And you can play with this too. It might, the length that you make the clips might vary based on the content that you're sharing. If you had a little bit more text on one of the slides, you might want it to be a little bit longer. Stack them all up on the same line. And then if we preview it one more time, we'll see that it flips through and then it goes through all of the different items to kind of make it look like a, an actual video. And then we'll come up to export and render video. I want to make sure that I'm exporting it at a mobile size, so 1080 by 1920, and then I would just hit render. And that's it. Two easy ways to turn static content into a video that can be shared on a variety of social media platforms. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit like and make sure that you subscribe to our channel to get updates about future videos we release. Thanks guys!